Hello friends, it's Christy Marcotte. Today I'm sharing some cards I made using Paper Roses Coffee Date Paper Collection. This is an A5 paper pack. They're all single-sided papers. There are 24 sheets. You'll get two of each design. And what's really fun about this collection are all the large panels you can use for the background of your card. There are some papers that have a design, so there's some coffee beans. Here's some more of those large images. There's a fun coffee stain looking background. I really love all the different patterns and designs, and the papers are perfect for masculine or feminine cards. So here's a fun wood grain look. I love this pop of the teal color. There's a couple more of those background panels. This one looks like a burlap sack. There are a few more of those large image panels. And then the very last papers are full of sentiments. And these are really fun coffee themed sentiments. This collection is perfect for assembling some really fun and quick cards. So let's go ahead and get started with my first set of cards. I'll be making two of each card. I'm just gonna show the process of assembling one. Since these large image panels really don't need a lot of extra detail to them, I'm gonna bring in some specialty cardstock. So I have this gold satin mirror cardstock that I'm going to layer this panel. I did cut out a rectangle out of the background just to save on some of that specialty cardstock. And then I'm gonna layer it again on some dark brown cardstock. I'll put this card front onto a card base. The large image panels in this collection make it so easy to assemble a card. I will bring in one of those sentiment cut aparts. This is take time to smell the coffee. I'll layer the sentiment on some of the brown cardstock. And then I'm also using some more of the gold satin mirror paper. I just cut a very thin strip and I'm gonna glue it underneath the sentiment just for a little extra detail. Then once that's adhered, I'll attach the sentiment in the upper right-hand corner of the card, and I'll adhere it using some more liquid adhesive. Try to make sure to get it nice and straight. For a finishing touch, I'm gonna add some Nouveau Jewel Drops. This is the cocoa blush color, so it does dry clear. It has a touch of brown, and I think it works really nicely with the paper collection. So to sprinkle some in the lower left-hand corner, a few around the sentiment and a few above the cup. So there is my finished card and I did make a total of two. Now moving on to the next set of cards. And I know it's gonna be a big surprise, but I'm not using a single card sketch in this video. With those large image panels, it really wasn't necessary. So I have this really fun image with the coffee and a bunch of treats and some beans. And I'm gonna layer this panel on some brown cardstock and then again on some dark green cardstock. I think it brings out the green from the pattern paper. I'll put my card front onto a card base. For the sentiment I'm using, I miss our coffee date. And I'm also gonna bring in the word hello. This is a die from Paper Rose. It actually comes with the outline as well, but I decided just to use the word. And I cut it out using some of the gold mirror cardstock. So I'll attach the main sentiment, then I'll add some liquid adhesive to the back of the word hello. And then I'll adhere it right above that sentiment strip. Then for a finishing touch, I'll bring in some more of the Nouveau Jewel Drops. This color just works so nicely with the collection. I'll add a few around the sentiment and then two in the upper left-hand corner. So again, a very simple card, but with that beautiful pattern paper, it really doesn't need anything more. And with this being the first crafting I did after the holidays, it was nice to assemble some quick and simple cards. So moving on to the next set of cards, I have another fun panel with the neon light that has meet me for coffee. And instead of layering that panel on the gold mirror cardstock, I'm going to put both of them at a slight angle. So I attach the gold mirror cardstock first, put it on the brown cardstock, and then just put my card front onto a card base. Now I'll add that sentiment panel. 
I put some ATG tape on the back of this panel, but since I am adhering it to some specialty cardstock, I did add just a little bit of liquid adhesive as well, just to make sure it's going to stay in place. For this sentiment, I have Miss You and Our Coffee Dates. And I'm going to adhere that directly underneath that neon sign. And for a little extra detail, I'm going to add a small banner in the upper left hand corner. I am using this dark brown cardstock, so it doesn't stand out a lot, but it does give just a little extra detail. Then final finishing touch using some more of the Nouveau Drops. Put a few of them in the lower right hand corner and then two in the upper left hand corner. Even though I store my Nouveau Drops upside down to prevent air bubbles, I noticed there was a little bubble in there, so I did squeeze out some on some scrap paper off screen. So there are my two finished cards using that same panel. Now moving on to my next set of cards, and this time I'm not going to use any of those image panels. I have two different pattern papers, one with the coffee beans and the other with that burlap sack. I used a stitched rectangle die for the coffee beans. And I did use some liquid adhesive around the outside edge just because I find sometimes those stitch dies warp the paper slightly. So adding a little bit of liquid adhesive ensures everything is going to stay in place. I'm gonna layer this on some dark green cardstock. I'll put my card front onto a card base. I cut this one inch strip of brown cardstock and I'll adhere it to the front of the card. Before I attach it, I am gonna add some scrap pieces of cardstock on the very outer edges where it goes off of that coffee paper just to keep everything nice and level. Put some liquid adhesive on the back and attach it to my card. And this is gonna anchor the large sentiment I'm adding to the card. I'm using this large Hello die by Paper Rose. And I also use that beautiful teal cardstock that's included in the paper pack. I'm gonna layer that on some of the green cardstock. So let's put some liquid adhesive on the back of this die cut and then add it to that shadow outline. I think this pop of green looks really nice against that dark brown coffee bean pattern paper. Once I get that sentiment attached, I can add it to my card. Now before I adhere it, since it is going off of that brown paper, I'll be adding some scrap cardstock to the upper area of this die cut. Just wanna keep everything nice and level. Rather than cut a bunch of small pieces, I just used that outline die and some green cardstock and ran it through the machine so I would have the exact size of cardstock pieces. So now I can put some liquid adhesive on the back and everything will be at the same level. And I'll try to make sure to get it nice and straight and centered on the card. Now I'm gonna also bring in one of the sentiment cut apart. This is Your Brutiful. And then I'll attach that to the lower right hand corner underneath the Hello Sentiment. And to finish off the card, I'm using Paper Roses Clear Crystal Shaker Mix for embellishments. These are really fun since they work with any color and they just blend into the background but add a little bit of sparkle. I have my embellishment wand to help pick these up. Some of them are super tiny. I'll put a few of them around the sentiment and then also two in the upper left hand corner. Once I have the placement decided, I can put a drop of glue and then just pick up those crystals and then adhere them to my card. And you can see the glue right now, but it will dry clear. And there are my finished cards. I really like how this one turned out. I did get the hello a little too high on the one I recorded. I do prefer the one I did off screen. Now moving on to the next set of cards. I have another panel. I'm gonna layer that on some brown cardstock, and then I'm also gonna layer it on that green pattern paper. But I don't wanna use up that whole piece, so I am going to take a rectangle die and cut out the middle portion so I can use it later on. I'll attach this panel onto that pattern paper. 
And for that gap, I will add a piece of scrap cardstock just to make sure it's nice and level. Then I'll put my card front onto a card base. And this is going to be another really simple quick card. I'm using the sentiment, thanks a latte. And I also cut a strip of that green teal pattern paper. On the right side of the sentiment, I'm gonna trim it at an angle just for some extra interest. And then that green pattern paper, I cut it slightly longer. I'm gonna attach that green pattern paper down first and then layer the sentiment on top. I'm just using liquid adhesive. I'm trying to keep most of the cards fairly flat so they'll be easy to mail. And finishing touch, pulling out those Nouveau jewel drops again. I'll put a few around the sentiment and then two in the upper right hand corner. And there are my two finished cards. This is one of my favorite cards. I love that wood panel underneath the coffee cup. So now moving on to my next set of cards using another one of the panels. This one has three different coffee cups at an angle, which is really fun. I decided to add two thin strips of pattern paper to the left-hand side of the card. And I used Paper Rose's Strip Sentiment die set for those. Just put some liquid adhesive down and glued them onto the card. I'm trying to make sure to get them nice and straight. And then for the sentiment, I used a circle die. The sentiment is, it's always coffee time. And I layered that on another circle die with the brown cardstock that you can see I cut out of the background layered piece. Before I adhere the sentiment, I am gonna add those scrap pieces of cardstock. I'll add one scrap to the right side of the sentiment. And I decided to cut the left side of the sentiment off so that it'll be flush to the left side of the card. So I held it up to the card, flipped over that panel and trimmed away that extra so that it's flush to the left. Then I'll add that other scrap piece of cardstock on the left side. And I can put this panel onto the dark brown cardstock. I'll use some more scrap cardstock to fill in that little circle gap. It's just a small one, but I still wanna make sure there isn't gonna be that noticeable dip on the front of the card. Next, I'll put my card front onto a card base. And for this card, I am leaving an eighth of an inch of that white card base showing. For finishing touch, using some more of those clear crystals. I'll put a few of them in the lower right-hand corner, and then just a few between the mugs and the sentiment my embellishment wand to help pick those up and then just glue them all in place. So there is my finished card. I did make two using that same panel. It's very interesting. I live in Washington State, which there's coffee shops around every single corner, sometimes two of them. I can't stand the taste of coffee. I love the smell, but cannot stand the taste. I would prefer a cup of tea but so many people here do love their coffee. So I always like to buy coffee themed paper collections so I can send the cards to family and friends. For the next set of cards, I selected another image panel, cut it out using a stitched rectangle die. I'm adhering it to some brown cardstock. Then I'm gonna layer this piece on this scalloped rectangle die cut. I use some more of that gold mirror paper for that. I did cut out the center just to save that specialty cardstock. Then I'll fill in that gap with some scrap cardstock. We'll put this card front onto a card base, again, leaving that about an eighth of an inch of the white card base showing. For the sentiment, I'm using sending you a hug in a mug. I think that's a really fun sentiment. For this card, I did decide to pop up the sentiment. I'm using some thin foam squares I cut down the larger square size so it would fit nicer on this sentiment strip. I'll just remove the backing and adhere it to the left-hand corner. I did cut the right-hand side of that sentiment at an angle just for some extra interest. Now I'll bring in more of the clear crystals, put a few of them around the sentiment and also two in the upper right-hand corner. I'm digging through the container of crystals, trying to find different sizes. 
I think there's three or four different sizes included in this mix. And one is super tiny. I like to use it, but it's hard to find since it tends to stick to the inside of the bag. I figure when I start to run low on the crystals, I'm gonna find all of those teeny tiny little crystals at the bottom of the bag. So there is my finished card and I did make two using the same panel. Now moving on to my final set of cards using another fun panel. This one has the cup of coffee and then a cup of coffee beans right next to it. I'm gonna layer this on that dark brown cardstock. I'll put my card front onto a card base. And for the sentiment, I'm using one of the longer strips. This is coffee with you is the best kind of therapy. I decided to layer this on some of the gold mirror paper just to make sure that sentiment's going to stay in place. I did put some double-sided tape on the back and then adhered it to that specialty cardstock. I used some liquid adhesive on the back of this piece and adhered it to the lower portion of the card. For some finishing touches, I'm gonna add a couple small banners in the upper right-hand corner. And I used one of Paper Rose's banner die sets for those. I used the gold specialty paper and also some brown cardstock. I did add that scrap piece of cardstock to the right of the gold banner just to make sure the brown banner is gonna stay nice and level. I'm gonna bring in those crystals again. I'll put one on both sides of the sentiment and then I'll put three up around the banners in the upper right hand corner. I really like the clean look of this image panel with the white background. And the banners in the upper right hand corner add some nice detail and balance out the card. So there are my two finished cards. Now here's a quick recap of the 16 cards I made using Paper Roses Coffee Date Paper Collection. This is such a fun paper collection. I love all the image cut apart panels that are included. Makes it super easy to assemble some quick and simple cards. I will have links provided in the description box where you can purchase the paper collection. Paper Rose is located in Australia and they do ship internationally, but you can also purchase their products here in the US. So I will have links to both places in the description box below. This was such a fun set of cards to make. I didn't use any stamp sets this time, just brought in a few dies, but mostly relied on the sentiment cut aparts that are included in the paper pack. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.